Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. Yep, it's your super host, David Kogan, and what a morning it's been. We started off the show with the CEO of Peter Jungle. We just had on the president of the United Nations General Assembly. We'll be ending the show with the son of Senator Ted Kennedy and nephew of President John F. Kennedy. But let's get started with our next hero, who is the president of and CEO of Global Franchise Group. That's globalfranchise.com, Chris Dahl. You'll know their brands. You ever been to a mall? They're in tons of malls. Marble Slab Ice Creamery, Hot Dog on a Stick, Great American Cookies, Maggie Moo's Ice Cream and Treat, Treatery, and Pretzel Makers, all of which I could eat right now. Chris, with so many brands... Which do you personally frequent most as a customer? Oh, you had to ask me that. You know that. Well, uh, I would say that probably my most frequent would be Great American Cookies. Mm, your cookie fan, love it. Now, it must, it must be surreal going to the mall and seeing so many of your franchises there. Have you ever done one of the, personally, you, the secret shopper routine, kind of the undercover boss by going in as a customer and ordering? I actually do that all the time. Ah, great. Yes, so what surprised you the most? Um, you know, for me, it's about customer service. So when you're in a business where you're serving a craveable indulgence to a consumer, uh, they have a lot of choices. And so with our brands, it's really important that we put forward a very, very good front uh, in the form of customer service. And so for me, I'm always, uh, always pleasantly surprised by, by how friendly um, and accommodating our staff uh, are at our locations. Now, again, you're the CEO of Global Franchise Group, having very, very well-recognized brands. Um, how does one, though, the journey to become the CEO of so many recognized brands? In other words, how did you do it? That's a, that's a good question. Sometimes I ask myself the same thing. You know, I, I never envisioned, um, I, and my I started out in franchising 20 years ago, and my vision was that someday I would be a franchisee. Um, and I began uh, at Marble Slab Creamery, which at the time was a very small business, only about oh, 30 or 40 uh, stores open and operating. And I began as a ice cream store manager working for the corporate offices. And so that's how it all that's how it all started. And we sold uh, Marble Slab Creamery to a publicly traded company in 2006. And I was asked to move with the business to the public company, and eventually found myself running the division, which was the franchise division. And we sold the franchise division to a private equity firm years later. And the private equity firm asked me to stay on and, and be the CEO, and I've been doing that uh, for. Uh, global franchise group for a little over six years. Incredible. Growing up, though, what were some maybe of the other jobs? Maybe you could take me back a little bit earlier before even the ice cream store manager that sure. uh, that you did. And more importantly, too, is is what did you learn from them that carried over to help you be so successful? Sure. Well, I grew up in a relatively entrepreneurial family. My father uh, was in the real estate business and also owned um, some hotels and motels around the state of Texas. And so as a small child, I spent a lot of time uh, traveling around the state with my dad uh, and seeing what he did on a day-to-day -day basis. So I always had a love for business, even when I was a small child. But I've worked in everything from lawn care to, oh, cardboard manufacturing facilities to Sherwin-Williams paint distribution centers. I've had a lot of jobs, and at every single job I ever worked in, it became very clear to me that in order for you to rise, in order to, for you to be recognized, you had to work hard. So hard work um, was, in my life, something that always seemed to put you um, in the crosshairs of uh, success. 
And we have Chris Dull. Again, many of the brands, he's the president of Global Franchise Group. You can reach him at globalfranchise.com. Many of the brands, Marble Slab, American Cookie Company, Hot Dog on a Stick, so much more. You're listening to Alliance's Heroes. Be a hero. With David Kogan, go to where entrepreneurs align. Be part of the community. Alliances.com. That's E L I A N. CES.com. Now, Chris, your company operates more than 1,100 franchises globally. I mean, how do you track and manage and keep everything in order with so many? Well, I'll tell you, technology definitely makes things uh, easier today than they were just five years ago. So we have a system in-house that gives us the ability to communicate with our franchisees, regardless of location, um, at the touch of a button. So not only can we communicate, but we also have all of our records uh, compiled in one simple place where we can go and see exactly how the store is doing in sales, um, how the stores have been performing um, from an audit perspective, and you know we also take notes personally on how our franchisees are doing and and what's going on in their life. So it's it's uh, technology has definitely helped us keep track of of all the many stores that we have. Now, I think franchising really is an incredible concept by giving the opportunity for people to have their own business, but really not be alone in business. I just love the concept. What are the specific qualities, though, skills that you see really of your top performing franchise units? Because I believe really it doesn't matter what they're in. It's just something that they have. What do you see that being? Well, I think vision is uh, very important. So the two things that I, I, I see that help a franchisee kind of go from being a one-store operator, someone who's bought themselves a business that serves as a job, to a business owner of multiple locations, is one, they're very entrepreneurial. Um, they, they like to be scrappy, they like to move fast, and they're creative. Um, and secondly, they have a vision that's bigger than just owning a single store. And so those franchisees for us are the ones that tend to come in dig into a unit, get to understand the business very well, and then they have a vision for where they want to be, and they execute to that vision, and they go out, and they make it happen for themselves. So those, those two things, create well, three things, creativity, entrepreneurial um, mindset, and, and a vision for something bigger. Now, Chris, I've got a couple kids, and they love cookies. And if they said to me, you know, I want to go ahead and open up an American cookie company, what should I be maybe instilling in them now that will help them later once they grow up, to be able to perhaps have the opportunity and be a franchisee owner or maybe sure. even create their own franchise? Yeah, well, I, I would start, again, with hard work. Nothing in life comes easy. And so uh, any, any youngster out there that's learning early that um, you have to work hard to get where you want to be in life, I think that's a, a, an invaluable lesson. Um, you know, specifically around... Um, being a franchisee, I think you have to be creative and entrepreneurial, but at the same time, you have to understand the system and be willing to follow um, guidelines that are set and a path that has already been um, cut. So, you know, individuals who are so creative and so entrepreneurial that they want to do it all their way are probably going to have a miserable time in the franchising business. So you need discipline uh, and you need a lot of hard work. And, and so... Uh, if you could teach your children to be disciplined and hardworking, I think that's a good start. So can we share this secret? I got a secret. I, 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 this okay. Candy Crush app is just yep. so popular. I mean, my kids play it everywhere I go. People <laughs> are playing it and stuff of that. But what does that have to do with Global Franchise Group, globalfranchise.com? Sure. Well, Candy Crush is a lot of fun. Um, and our brands are a lot of fun. And so, you know, today we're in a, a world where... Uh, people are constantly paying attention to their their handheld, <laughs> whether it be a tablet or an iPad or an iPhone or whatever it is, and you know, gaming and 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 burning some time with um, um, games has become something that people really enjoy doing. And so we align ourselves with something that's fun and top of mind, um, and at the same time, you know, Candy Crush, Marble Slab Creamery. You can go in and, and create an ice cream that has as many candies as you can possibly think of uh, 
um, fold it into your ice cream product. So we thought that was a natural fit for us. I love it. That's awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, you and I, we're going to go ahead after this interview, get some milk and some cookies at Great American Cookies. If you can create a successful blueprint for others to follow, to be in business for themselves, but by not, not by themselves, though, that's a hero. That's the CEO of Global Franchise Group. Got to start as an ice cream store manager. Go to globalfranchise.com. Thank you again, David Kogan with the Alliances. And when we return, the son of Senator Ted Kennedy and nephew of President John F. Kennedy, Patrick Kennedy. <laughs> 